All right, behind me are all these YouTube influencers on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So everybody is out there cooking. We're gonna put the uh, smoke fire through its paces. We're sitting here at the Weber building in uh, Chicago area. And uh, what you see behind me is actually a crazy setup where we have actually an indoor kitchen built, indoor outdoor kitchen, which is a kind of oxymoron. But you can see all these different vents here. And if you want to cook indoors in your home using uh, pellets or any charcoal, this is the way to build one of these uh, really expensive R&D labs where you can pretty much cook anything that you want. Hey man, we're gonna do shrimp, but I don't know what all we got here, so I'm gonna probably just throw some samples out, taste, okay, and see so what we got. Give them so. a shout out here. We got a Chicago steak. Yep. Uh, Chicago steak. A classic. And uh, um, kosher salt and probably garlic powder. Some kind of garlic some kind powder. Of yeah. Actually, putting on a little bit of oil. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Suggesting a vegan tank maniac. What are you gonna be doing? <laughs> strip steak. Strip, strip steak. Like steak. Right. Yeah. I was watching over you. What do you want? What is the word today? Do you like your salmon cooked to yeah. 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 Ye
little bit of uh, rice wine vinegar right here. Let me see which one tastes better here. What is this? This is a uh, rice wine vinegar. Make me pick a pickle man rice wine vinegar here. There Excellent day. No Excellent day. So I saw that we can grab some more. So we got we got some extra special ingredients here. We're gonna make a ponzu dressing. Everybody. Uh, let's fry some cayenne pepper, ground clove, allspice, paprika. The cayenne pepper here. All right, folks. So we're gonna make a quick new style sashimi sauce, ponzu style for the group. We're gonna do a salmon that is also kind of seared on the outside. Show you the versatility of cooking salmon. You can cook salmon on a smoke fire, but you can also cook salmon like new style sashimi style. We're gonna show you guys how to make a very very quick sauce. A little bit of uh, rice wine vinegar here, and I rated the Weber pantry. We'll go by flow here. A little bit of soy sauce here for ponzu. So ponzu is based on a gastric. A gastric is a sweet and sour solution. For the sweet, we're gonna use a little bit of honey. So, and uh, Jason's gonna go find me some plastic spoons so we can go and cross contaminate. So we make a ponzu sauce here on the fly with a little bit of cayenne pepper. Stir it up. All right, we're gonna do a taste test here. We're gonna balance out the acidity. So a ponzu sauce is nothing more than a sweet and kind of a tangy soy sauce. This is really great on salmon. You can just basically put some barbecue rub, brown sugar on your salmon and it will absolutely be absolutely fantastic. And uh, this will add an Asian flair, a little Japanese flair to your food. I'm just gonna go and stir it up and melt some of that uh, honey in there. And uh, we're gonna give you a taste test here. Okay, I nailed it the first time <laughs> just by luck. Uh, this is the best soy sauce in the world, Yamasa. So if you're a Japanese, this is the soy sauce that everybody goes to. Great for basically sushi, nigiri, maki rolls. And we got our ponzu sauce ready to go. Alright, guess what I found in the pantry? I found brown sugar. So we're gonna show you guys another variation on how to cook salmon. We're gonna do a brown sugar crusted salmon on one of them. So we'll have a little bit of a variation going on here. Okay, setting off the timer. So we're gonna show you guys how you can jazz your salmon. And on a salmon, a lot of uh, times people don't realize that you can cook salmon really well with a little bit of brown sugar on top. Put some brown sugar on top here. And so we'll do a brown sugar crusted salmon, and it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I'm trying to do it without burning myself. There you go. One one different variation of salmon to go with the rest. Looks good. Alright, so we're gonna make a searing oil now. So I'll show you guys a new sauce sashimi. And I'm gonna put some oil here, but maybe a half a cup of oil. Any kind of good vegetable oil is good. We're gonna heat this oil up to about 450. We're gonna do a sear with the oil, which is something a little bit different. I'm gonna put this into the 450 pit. 525 pit. Does anyone want chicken tartar? All right, we're gonna season the uh, salmon now. So we're gonna do a cedar plank salmon so it's easier to clean. So for folks at home who are cooking on a grill and you want something simple that you can cook and serve and you are like me, I hate to clean up. No plates, no foils and nothing else. You just put your salmon on a plank. Now, do you need to soak your plank? It's better if you soak your plank, but if you don't have time, it's still okay because the plank will flame. So you're gonna get that smoke flavor right onto your salmon. We're gonna go in at around 550. We're gonna sear this salmon just on the outside. We're gonna slice it up and we're gonna make a new style sashimi with a ponzu sauce that I just made on the fly after raiding the Weber pantry. So probably about maybe about six minutes on this thing just to get a nice char on the outside. We're gonna slice it up and plate it for some wonderful salmon sashimi. The salmon is done, it's medium rare. We're gonna do a new style sashimi. I made some ponzu sauce here. We're gonna plate it for everybody to try. We're gonna drizzle the hot oil on it. This is a fantastic appetizer that you can do at home. Oh, okay. And you don't need to basically use any device besides a plank, right? We can cut it open. So, see how beautiful the center is? That's absolutely nicely seared. We're gonna do a uh, kind of a salmon sashimi of course this is not a sushi knife it's not a yinagi bar but we're going to show you guys how we played it and then we can serve the appetizer for everybody to try a new style sashimi on a weber smoke fire grill and uh, you can prepare this ahead of time you can refrigerate it and put it in the refrigerator and then serve your guests as they come in to your party so a little party food here for your guest 
cook on a smoke fire with a little bit of ponzu dressing that we made on the fly, a little bit of hot oil to drizzle on the top, and it'll be all good. So as a safety tip, when you are at home, when you're doing this, just be careful that number one, you don't have a grease fire, and number two, you don't burn your family members or burn yourself. Always make sure that you have some, some heavy duty gloves on. The salmon is ready, and the camera's gonna zoom in. We're gonna do a drizzle on the hot oil. So, and sizzle the cook the salmon this way. Alright, this is a great way to entertain your guests. So while they're waiting for the steak to get cut by Kevin, you can entertain your family and friends with just a little bit of a hot oil drizzle. So what you're doing is you're only cooking the outside, right? The inside is raw. And then uh, we're gonna put some of the ponzu that we just made. We put four ingredients stolen from a pantry. All right, and if you have some sesame seeds as a garnish, green onions as a garnish, uh, some daikon sprouts as a garnish. So there you have it, a super simple dish that you can make on your smoke fire grill that you can entertain your guests before the main course is ready over there. Everybody's gonna give a shot at uh, all this last minute cook stuff. And uh, we're gonna, gonna try some big bit on the fly here. See so the perfect doneness on the inside there? You like it that way, yes. Yeah. So nice and rare. The hot oil helps because for your family members who don't like raw fish, you just drizzle the hot oil and tell them it's been seared. Alright, how's the food, guys? Perfect. Okay, cooked by uh, uh, all the uh, influencers, right? So you get a chill lunch. Kevin, uh, make, make sure that uh, everybody has to kind of roll up your shirt skin, literally. The salmon was the best, sir. Your salmon? I already ate one. Oh, you already ate How was it? Okay. So you can see that Bonzu only has a gastric. A gastric is a sweet and sour solution of sugar okay. and mm -hmm. vinegar. So I found some rice wine vinegar. I found some honey. So that was the base. And then you add a third component, like any kind of soy sauce. You can add a miso paste. You can add a soybean paste. Uh, you can add goju chang for the Korean style. Okay. So what is the beauty about cooking is when you cook it like modular, like Lego blocks, you can create flavors from around the world. Wow. Because we really appreciate everything and we're looking forward to doing um, you know, more experiences with you and, and bringing us all back together again for another special moment too. So thank you so much for, for uh, being part of this. And I'm so grateful that you guys were all able to come hang out. I'm even more happy that you guys cooked really good food because that's it's always good to see that we don't have to always be the ones that even Kel like. The folks who made it happen to get away all the hundreds of people behind the scenes. I'm back at the airport now and what better way to before I leave Chicago to have a authentic Chicago dog with the green pickle relish. It's been a great 24 hours at the Weber factory and R&D center in uh, Chicago. Learned a lot about the smoke fire. I hope you gonna, guys are gonna enjoy the videos that I am posting in different parts showing you all aspects of the design concept and engineering for the Weber smoke fire. I predict that it's going to be a really big hit but again the verdict is out because I have not really cooked on it besides cooking some steaks and some chicken and some shrimp and salmon on it. Well, I can't wait to get my hands on the Weber Smoke Fire as it launches in early 2020 to do a whole cook of barbecue items such as brisket, pork butt, ribs, chicken and so on on it. Share you guys the results because uh, Harry fails so you don't have to. So what I've seen so far the Weber Smoke Fire is a winner but talk is cheap so we gotta cook on it and let you guys guys know the results. I want to thank all my Patreon sponsors and my YouTube subscribers for all your great comments and uh, help supporting my channel. If you have questions, uh, please ask. I know I'm going to be publishing a multi-part series, so there's going to be a lot of information I'm going to be sharing to you guys about the smoke fire. So if you have any questions, send it back to me. I'll try to get you guys the answers from the engineers and the talented folks at Weber who developed that great product.